Wow, welcome back, Dukes and Duquettes. Also, YouTube, thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I'm doing a reaction to uh, Catching Fights and Feelings by uh, Swoozy. So, <clears throat> I never really watch his uh, videos like that, but I'm going to check this one out today. Let's see how it goes. Uh, before we start the video, make sure you subscribe if you're new, like the video, and uh, drop your thoughts in the comments down below. And also, if, if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Let's keep it rocking. Let's keep it popping over there. Uh, but yeah, let's hop straight into it. Idiot TV. Bam. Me and the T, you're in the right spot. Popped off the plane at LAX. I go to baggage claim. There is this baddie. And she's there just on her phone. Don't let the lights and the cameras fool you. I'm a nerd. And nerds, when we see pretty girls, oftentimes we don't have the courage to always just, hey, baby, blah, 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 and spit game. We don't always have that, okay? This girl's right next to my baggage claim, so I'm building up the courage to get to baggage claim. My bag's not there. <laughs> oh. As I turn to oh, head back to this girl, I see another. Dang, some boogers came out. Oh. Oh, he said building up the courage. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you gotta do that still, you know, no matter who you are, you gotta build up the courage. <laughs> but this is funny. To use it in that in that sense, let's go. Another baddie, just as bad. This voice in my head is like, do it. So I'm trying to decide, and I go with baddie number two. Baddie number two is also sitting there on her phone. I begin my approach. Don't go to that one. Don't go to that one. She's sitting on the phone. No, she. Don't, yeah, nah. Then I think I'm just gonna plug my phone in, and then as I'm charging my phone, I'll strike up convo. Boom. I get about five feet away from her, and then she looks up at me, and she says something first. I hope you're not coming over here to charge your phone. I'm using the top outlet, and the bottom outlet's broken. And then I say, well, that's exactly what I was coming over here for. Duh. So she says, okay, I'll let you have it if you have less battery than me. I'm on 8%. What are you on? I'm on, like, 98.9%. And then I just... You don't need the charger. ...ease into conversation from there. So I get her Instagram, hey. hop in the Uber, hey. and bounce. That's a smooth move. Nerds are taking over. For the next few weeks, we start talking. So then I'm like, you talking to anybody right now? And she's like, well, I was talking to this dude, but then he ghosted me for somebody that you follow. This girl is going through my follows. Oh, snap. Hmm. She's girl, already doing research. I need to see who this dude ghosted you for. This London girl, and you follow her. I don't know her. She takes really good pictures. She seems cool. But she's like, no, I'm single. I'm not talking to anybody. Dun, 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 dun. So this girl lives in Vegas, and she was just visiting L.A. So we're talking for another week, and then I'm just like, okay, let's skip any of the boring stuff. How about I fly you to L.A., and you come chill with me for the weekend? She's like, okay, cool. So she flies to L.A. I pick this girl up, and this girl, her freaking fashion is amazing. A girl that can dress takes the attraction to the next level for me. That might be expensive, she's too. She's like walking Pinterest. So I cook for her, and at night, we'll just lay on my patio and just look up at the stars. And the conversation's freaking amazing. Also takes the attraction up to another level. I'm sitting here trying to find things wrong with this girl, and I can't. We talk for a few more weeks, ah. and I'm just like, I need to fly you back. So, I do. I couldn't get a read on this girl, you know? And typically when you can't get a read on somebody, they are not feeling you like that. She goes back to Vegas. Then she hits me with, I think I'm going to move to L.A. Yes! I swag when I start. Come on, exotic, exotic. She moves to L.A., I meet her two best friends, and then shortly after that, I notice... Hold on! best friends unfollow her. It's not a my... Whoa, 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 hold on. Did you lock it down yet? Or is this still trial, the, like the trial period before you? The business nor my concern. One day she texts me, I haven't seen you since I moved. Let's kick it. I'm like, all right, cool. When? She says, tomorrow. Okay, cool. Tomorrow comes, ghost protocol. I don't hear nothing from this girl. Another day or two goes by, she texts me again. Hey, am I gonna see you? Are we kicking it? What's up? Okay, let's maybe get a little bit more specific. Give me yeah, she's time. Playing. Give me a place. She's like, okay, tomorrow, this time. The next day comes, ghost protocol. This girl wow. in LA for a week, and it's already starting to act LA. See? Flakes. See? See? In LA, See? You know exactly what I'm talking about. She hits me up again. Are we going to hang? Oh, my God, I miss you. And I'm like, let's go. Bro, I... What the... What is all this noise for? Bro, I hit you up last week, and you said, 
when we go hang out. Get, you gave me the time. I'm like, cool. Get to the day, and all of a sudden, you're invisible. What do you want me to do? Stupid, man. Let's go, man. Any of you who've ever been a server, Calm you down. just know what it's like to have people thinking that they're better than you. When you don't value my time, to me, that's you thinking that your time is more valuable than my time. Rude. So then I text back, listen, if we don't kick it tomorrow, it's going to be a while <laughs> before I see you because it's I got stuff get... to do. Tomorrow comes, she texts me like an hour before we're supposed to hang out, like, hey, I'm at the post office. It's kind of crazy here, so let's just push for, you know, maybe five or six o'clock. Nah. Comes around, hey, so... I gotta take my dad to the airport. I'll hit you. Ah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. She's playing. She's playing. She's playing. She's 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 texting all that stuff in the bed. Like she's probably sitting down on the couch or the bed, saying all that crap. She she's she's messing around. She's wasting your time, man. Why are you wasting my time? There's this new app, Uber, Lyft. You know what? It's cool. I'm not gonna see your crusty butt for a hot minute. I don't hear from this girl from that <laughs> He's trying to I smoke. really, really was dealing this girl. Let's fast forward a month. My friends Nas and Yaz stopped by. Ooh. Well, I mean, I mean. Goes, Weren't you talking to that one the LAX baggage claim girl? It's whatever, you know. And then she's like, you know she's dating, let's just call him A-list celebrity. You know she's dating A-list celebrity now, right? And my freaking heart sank into uh. my I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> how do you know LAX girl is dating A-list celebrity now? She goes and she's like, it's all over TMZ, it's all over this, 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 this. She's dating homeboy now. This might explain wishy-washy. Exactly. Playground. This might explain, who knows? I don't know. I don't know the timeline. I cannot speculate. It's none of my business, nor my concern. You got yourself an A-lister. Way to go. I'm happy for you. Internally, I'm like, hello, darkness, my old friend. Fast forward another two or three weeks, I get a text from my girl, Victoria. Victoria's my friend from London, and she goes, I have another friend, let's call her Instagram UK model. My Instagram UK model is trying to get, you know, her social media popping. She's in LA. I told her it'd be great if you guys linked up and met. Me and Victoria's friend, we meet at Wolfgang Pucks in downtown LA. So I'm there with a UK model. We're talking about social media, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. She's going down the list of celebrities who are in her DMs. I don't believe any of this nonsense. I'm just like, yes, very good, hunty. Yes, I'm sure they are in your DMs. Mm -hmm. Tigers in my DMs. Nick Young Tigers in my, in my DMs. DMs. You know. Wait, wait, wait. In my DMs. And I'm like, skirt, skirt. A-list celebrity? You mean the same A-list celebrity that's dating LAX girl is in your DMs right now? A-list? Now, now I gotta call your BS. Let me see your phone. Show me the DMs from A-lister right now. She opens her DMs. She shows it to me. And sure enough, it's him. I click the name. I see the DMs. First of all, <laughs> has no game in the DMs. Just want to throw that out there. I see the name. Blue check. Click his name. It's his actual profile. So like... This is all factual. And he is in there. Thirst McGurst. So then UK Thirst McGurst. Was like, oh, <laughs> wants me the worst. When I landed in LA, I went on Snapchat and I was like, I'm here. Who wants to hang out with me? A lister DM me on Snapchat saying, delete that. I'm the only one you hang out with. Did you delete it? Yes. And did you hang out with him? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> business though my <laughs> in the past i have gotten involved with other people's relationships when i know person a is cheating on person b and i jump in and be like hey he's cheating it never goes well so then i start seeing a lister and lax girl at movie premieres and then just paparazzi <clears throat> casually taking pictures of them whatever the so then how is. hold on so then how did this one from london catch on or see that wow he, he might be a smooth criminal he might be smooth Again, wow. not my business, not my concern, so... So then, they break up. And then I look recently, and LAX girl unfollowed me recently. Like, what the F? What did I do? I unfollowed her back, so it's all cool. So yeah, this is, this is my life, peeps. I'm never good enough. I'm always inadequate. Every time. I tried so hard and got so far. See, I told you don't go to that one, man. I told you not to go to the one at the charger. I knew it. I knew she was dangerous, man. What, like, anybody you see that's just glued to their phone like that, they don't care about you.
<laughs> I know a lot of people are like, whoa, that's not true. But what I'm saying is, bro, I knew it. I had a feeling like, man, girls are like staring down at their phone. They're too worried about like, <clears throat> you know, social media, you know, you know, getting that hype. Like, I don't know. Nah. It's not, it's not, it's not convenient for me. And then kind of find out she's dating some other guy. And that's why you couldn't meet up after once you moved to LA. So she probably used you to come to LA, right? And when she finally came there a couple of times, kind of like, she was probably seeing the guy, like she probably came down, hung out with you for a little bit, saw the guy as well, possibly, I, I, I don't know. And then, you know, got that second trip to, to confirm some things and then talking to you while she was talking to him over when she was in Vegas and then finally made that move and said, okay, yep, you wanna uh, you know get into it with me? She came down to LA, put you to the side and started talking to the main guy as you were trying to link up with her. She made it seem like it was possible, but it never came through. That's what I think. But I could be wrong totally. I don't know, but that's what it sounds like. That's what I can imagine. These girls are here crazy, man. They're crazy. They're wildy. She went for the better option in her eyes, you know. The the money, whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Th think about the situation. Uh, would you have gone to the girl B, which was on the phone next to the charger, or girl A, the one that first caught your eye, the one that you saw and was like. This magic moment. <laughs> Let me know that uh, in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe, man. Come on. What, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and also like. Turn on the notifications, man. And also, if you like gaming, go to 88 Gaming. I game on there as well. And yeah, let's keep rocking. Let's keep it popping. It's 88 TV. Bang.